hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel this is day two so in this video i'm going to be telling you guys my goals of 2020 so i have a few goals that i really will accomplish in 2020 okay so the first one is going to be to have my products in different shops it's like hair salons beauty supply stores that's where i see my next step being the next goal is to have an ebook just a little how to launch your business how to just do different things for your business ebook that goes along with my um, marketing and my branding business that i also plan on starting which leads me to the next point i want to have a total of three successful businesses this year i have one um I don't know if I would count YouTube as a business. I think I will count it because like if you get money from it, it's a business. So I'm gonna count my business, KPMP, YouTube, and I need one more successful um, business. And that's my goal for the, um, 2020. And just to have consistent revenue coming in from those main three sources of, of income. Um, I wanna add new additions to my business. There's something that I'm so excited about that will be launching in the winter. Um, that's like later on, but I'm not talking about it now because you know, I'm still working on it, but that will be launching this year and I'm so excited about it. It's just like a new side of my business. And I'm, just, I'm excited. Next is going to be to move out and to get a new car. This topic is very, um, don't mind me that I'm eating, but like, it's like whatever, right? This topic is very, you know, like, arguable i guess like people my age i'm am 19 i will be 20 in may some people don't mind staying with their parents for a while they think that because you know like they have a roof over their head they are saving for i don't know what college home i don't know whatever that they don't have to move out and that's fine you know, everybody has different views and different thoughts and stuff like that but i personally feel like i'm ready to kind of have my own place and i'm ready for that responsibility um if you guys can see my room i'm totally outgrowing my room <laughs> like there's so much stuff in here stuff is pouring out of my closet it makes no sense so i'm just kind of ready to have my own space and i know that comes with a lot of responsibilities but i have my car I have you know like my everyday bills like my phone my car my gas my insurance so i'm ready to um you know be able to take on a big bill like rent um so no apartment coming soon this year and then i also want a new car this one i'm not really feeding for as much this year like if it doesn't happen i won't be like mad um because i realized like i don't really need a new car um that would just be kind of very materialistic of me trying to get a new car because my car is perfectly fine you know it has its it needs tires like it needs oil changes like regular stuff but I, I don't need to get a new car so i think i'm gonna kind of check myself on that one and not get a new car because i don't need one you know and i don't want a car note guys i don't get a car note wait as long as you can just try not to get a car note the next one is going to be to quit my job this one i'm so excited about and i don't know when it's gonna happen I don't know what part of the year is gonna happen, but the goal is to quit my job this year once and for all. And I know it's gonna happen this year. I just don't know when, you know? Just don't know when. The next one is to have a credit score of 820. I believe that's the highest that you can get. And mine right now is like a 700. You know, I'm new at credit, I'm just building, but I'm really trying to get to a um, 820. Prefer preferably before I move into my place, so that I can, you know, get a better place because of my credit. So that's something that I'm working on right now. And I'm aiming towards, if you guys want a video on how to build your credit, I can do that for you. Um, I have a student card though, and my credit score is like a 700, 702, something like that. I've only had it for a couple months. Next one is to buy ATM. This can also be considered one of my businesses. I really want to have an ATM. Like, I want to be able to have passive income like that to where I can just set the ATM up. And then, like I said, every two weeks, you will get the money, put new money in, you know? So, or vending machine, whichever one. But that's a big goal of mine. The overall process in that is $5,000. That includes the machine. That includes the amount of money that you have to put in it. And then only thing you have to worry about from there is, like, you know, like getting the ATM to the place and um setting up a, an agreement between you and the store owner or wherever you're putting it and stuff like that but it should cover five thousand should cover a nice one you know so another goal is 
to get to 10k on youtube um you guys if you watch my videos you know that last year was a big year for me because i hit 1k and now it seems like the more i grow the faster i grow so like before it took me forever well here's a little something that i will say about when having a youtube channel you can have a youtube channel for a thousand years like how i did and barely get 50 subscribers um I was posting makeup makeup videos and my passion wasn't makeup and I guess people can tell that my passion wasn't makeup so I was barely getting views, barely getting subscribers, you know I was working hard for what I did have though but then I started my business in May and started doing business videos. I got into like, I got to 1k in like almost like a month and a half, it was crazy like from going to 90 subscribers to a thousand in literally a month and a half is crazy. My views were like really really good. Um, from you know compared to what I had before so I feel like once you find your niche nobody could ever you know take that from you and now my channel is growing literally every day I used to get so excited when I would see I got a subscriber maybe once a week <laughs> like however many times and then now I'm getting like notification after notification after notification oh you guys subscribe here like all day and I just love it and I'm just like so blessed and so grateful all you guys find on my channel and you guys are subscribing thank you i'm eating jerk chicken <laughs> my nails are dirty but yeah so i really appreciate that so i'm just so happy and grateful you guys are the best um my next goal is going to be to be more productive and more proactive i have a trouble i have a problem with doing stuff on time like i can't like i'll know i have to do something and i'll wait till the last minute and be like oh it won't make that big of a deal it won't, it won't make that big of a difference if i wait and i wait and then it made that big of a difference so that's something that I want to work on, being more productive, being more proactive to certain situations because as you get older and as I am learning to, you know, like live on my own when I do move out, I have nobody to tell me to like, oh, go buy this, go get this, go get that, like adulting. Like I won't have nobody to tell me that but myself. So I want to be a very sufficient adult when I do get my place so that I know, okay, it's time for this, it's time to get that, it's time to, you know, and stuff like that. Next is I want to do some collabs with some nail techs and some hairstylists with my products. I won't talk too much on it, but if you are a nail tech or a hairstylist, you don't have to be in Queens or New York. You can be anywhere because my stuff ships anywhere. Um, DM me or email me and we could like talk about further projects and all that good stuff for my products. KP and P. Lastly is going to be to be comfortable with money and i want to like let me talk to you guys about this for a second so let me finish my food okay for one i've never been super materialistic i've never worn straight designer and all that stuff like i feel like if anything i'm just now getting into designer stuff and you know just really rec realizing quality and you know stuff like that so little story time i was in the mall with my boyfriend today and I decided to buy myself a Canada Goose. I don't know what possessed me to buy it or what, but I was just like, I need a new jacket. You know, like, I can afford it. And then I bought it. And then, I honestly, the feeling of just being able to go and buy it, and I'm not saying that it was a um, purchase that I regret, or I'm not saying that it's okay to just go in and just Blurge, like almost a thousand dollars for a jacket but i will say that when i do work hard because i do work hard in my business i work hard at work at school you know like i feel like i'm in my prime i feel like it doesn't hurt to buy yourself something especially because i don't buy myself a lot i don't buy myself especially expensive stuff like that i don't purchase for myself so and I seen it and I've been looking at it for a couple of months like I've been debating if I really wanted to buy the jacket for months guys like and then I said you know what like who ca not who cares but like I deserve it you know I, I, I can do this for myself so why not so I'm not gonna feel guilty about it I'm not gonna feel sad about it because I love the jacket let me show it to you guys it's, it's a black one but like it's so cute I really wanted one with fur this is a small I got it from Bloomingdale's and after tax the jacket was 978 which is almost a thousand um almost a thousand dollars but i really wanted a new jacket you know i'm getting older and when you get older you just realize you know what type of life you want for yourself and what type of life you can afford and i just 
had a feeling to where I felt like I want to be able to afford what I like, you know? And I'm not the type of girl that be going out wearing Louis Vuitton this, Louis Vuitton bags, because I don't like everything designer. Like, I have a Tory Burch bag I got for Christmas. But before that, I was wearing Michael Kors, which I feel like is nothing wrong with it. You know, everybody's style is different. All my black, my bags are black. Like, my Tory Burch bag, black. That's the only color I wear. So I got a black jacket, black Uggs, black Tims, black sneakers, everything. Look, look at my sweater, my leggings. Everything I wear is black. So, you know, I go with what goes with me. And before the bag, before the jacket, I was still wearing a black little, I don't know if you guys ever seen, I have another jacket. It's like the same type of jacket. Um, it's like a black, like a little shirley. And I was wearing that, and honestly, that one was not expensive. That was from H&M, and I wore it because it's my style. I'm not one of those girls to be wearing designer everything just because it's designer. That's not me. But the goose, I did have my eye on for a very long time, and I felt like I deserved it, and I felt like I could do this for myself, so I did it. And I say all that to say that this year, I don't want to hold back. I don't want to regret, I don't want to, I didn't want another winter to pass before I said, oh, I should have brought myself the jacket, I should have brought it for myself, like, why can't I have nice things, you know, like, um, I don't want to get into the habit um, of trying to hold on to money and trying to be so money hungry to save, 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 but at the end of the day, if you don't spend the money, you won't make no money, um, I sound a bit weird, but like, you have to spend money to make money, and you're supposed to save your money to buy yourself nice things, to afford things, to be able to go out and get a car and a house and whatever you're saving for. And I'm saving to move this year, so I did have some money saved, so I was able to buy the jacket. And I don't regret it at all, because I don't want to hold back this year if I want something. And you know, as long as it's not an impulse purchase and you're like, you know, oh, I see it, I want it. No, as long as it's not like that, I feel like there's nothing wrong with buying yourself something expensive. Um, even if you're all the type of girl that likes to buy designer everything, that's perfectly fine as long as you can afford it, I feel like, and you genuinely like it. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. And this year, I just want you and me to just, yes, be money conscious, conscious, but don't let money overrule everything. Because before, I wasn't by myself anything guys like, i did not get my hair done my nails done just because i was trying to hold on to every money every piece of money that i brought and then it's like what's the point of having all this money if i die tomorrow what can i really have to hold on to and say okay i brought this for myself you know like if i die tomorrow will i be happy with what i brought even though that sounds weird like why am i thinking about that but like i would hate to die and be like oh i should have brought myself this i should have did this i should have got my hair done should have got my nails done like no and it, you do what makes you so happy so that's something that i really want to like push on to myself this year and just to become to be at the point where i'm comfortable with money and money no longer is something that um i'm no longer working at a job where i get a certain amount of pay and i can only do certain amount of things with this pay you know i want to have a i want to be able to go out one day and go out to eat and then go you know just be able to do what i want you know, I want to be able to, I want to be able to afford to do what I want all the time. Not just when I get paid, you know? So, these are my goals of 2020. Um, money is a big one. Not like money is a big one, like, I'm depending on it, but like, I really want to get comfortable. That's one of my biggest goals, just to be comfortable with money. Um, and to be comfortable with like, how I spend it and knowing that it's okay for me to buy a jacket like that it doesn't mean like i should feel guilty or anything like that so that's my goals for this year i hope you guys really could understand where i'm coming from i know i spoke a lot in this video um i have this vision board that i want to show you maybe i should show it to you guys now okay so this is my vision board and for one i'm gonna just go through this stuff really quick this little quote just says you deserve this when keep going like i said i deserve this i can buy myself this you know just keep pushing next one is a picture of um, you guys probably know anadol my boyfriend said it was weird that her actual face is in it because i don't know i just printed the picture out from instagram but sorry if it's weird i don't know <laughs> But um, yeah, it's just her and like all of her orders. And then this is a uh, office because I really want to have a nice office this year. I want to have my own office space, like one that I rent. This is my brand logo. This is Mocha P Beauty. You guys probably know her and her orders. 
down here is just a picture of me working at home because I really want to, I really want to, you know, be able to work from home this year. This is just, um, I think Jisoo. Oh, it's upside down, but yeah. Jisoo, um, and his orders, and then it says a million, 10 million subscribers, and I thought it said 10,000. I didn't even realize it was 10 million until after I printed it, but like, hey, I didn't change it. And then this is um, Glamaholic Lifestyle Mia Ray. This is all her orders. If you guys don't know who she is, go check her out on check her out on Instagram. She has a lot of really nice bags and wallets, but they're just so hard to get because she I don't know like I don't know if she doesn't have enough of them or it just goes so fast. But she be getting sold out in like two minutes, and I couldn't even catch it last time. But whatever, go check her stuff out. Um, this is me at a pop-up shop. I really want to have more pop-up shops this year. I do have one in February coming up, but um, this is just one that I did in the summer. Um, this one just says I am financially free. Money, no, money is no longer an issue. I have more than I will ever need. I'm free to do what I want. I am generous with what I have, which is also something that I found very, very, very important. As me being a cashier, I work at a supermarket. I get tips a lot, and I never knew you get tips as a um, supermarket, like as a cashier before. So whenever I get tips, you know, I try to get like a certain amount of money a day and then add it to my check at the end of the week. Um, but when I do go somewhere like a restaurant or I go to any where they take tips and the person has, was honestly and genuinely sweet i give them them i give them a tip money you know um so just be generous with what you have because you never know how it could be repaid to you so i am and then this is 850 so i don't know if it's 820 or 850 is the highest but i want to have a high credit score <laughs> that's the point this is um snag rag this guy is dante and atez or something like that it's either his orders i don't think it's basically no these are his orders and this picture me and my boyfriend um and then we are trying to get our place together you guys know this i just put a picture of a really nice apartment and then the last one is my wrangler i don't think i'm gonna get this one this year because as i said i'm not getting a new car and i'm definitely not getting a new new car so but you never know how it might come to you so i put it up here because i love wranglers guys like this is my car okay but this is my vision board um i'm pretty much done for this video those are my goals that was my vision board and i'm just so excited for 2020 and all that it entails but that is it for this video and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video and i don't know if the video is going up on tuesday or monday but one of them and that's all i have to say guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye